Hi, it's Pastor Paul L. Anderson here at the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship, where we believe God's blessings never stop flowing. It is Triumphant Thursday. We thank God for the victory that comes in his name and his name alone. Today, I invite you to look with me at the Acts of the Holy Spirit through and by the apostles, the third chapter, verses 17 through 26. A very powerful message that God gives to us. It begins to remind us how God was fulfilling what all the prophets had foretold about the Messiah and that he must suffer these things. It is important for us to read this passage and understand that first of all, we must repent of our sins. God wants all of us to repent of our sins. That word repentance is like a word that says to make an about face, to turn around, to go in a different direction. To repent from something means that we are godly sorrowful for what we've done. You know, too many times in this world that people uh, really, sometimes we don't repent. We're just remorseful that we got caught. You know, when you repent, it means I'm not going to do it anymore. Uh, when you get caught, it's almost like you still don't want to confess that you did something wrong. You just said it was a moment in which I didn't use proper judgment. No, we need to just go in and say it. We sinned. We fell short of the glory of God. And Jesus wants to wipe all of our sins away. You know, when we find out what Jesus has done for us at the cross, it is then we realize that he is the Messiah. He is the anointed one that God sent into this world. He came from heaven to earth to restore our relationship, to make sure that we were back in good relationship with God. It was a long time ago that the prophets began to prophesy and to tell us that one will come. One would be the final sacrifice for all of our sins. We read how Moses did great things. We know how God used him, but nobody else could do it like only Jesus could. Jesus went to Calvary's cross. And for that reason, you and I are now called the children of God. Jesus is our elder brother. And now we have a covenant relationship. Just as God made a covenant and made a promise to Abraham, he makes a promise to us because we are the descendants of Abraham, that God will give us just what we need, the relationship and the promise of the covenant. The covenant is that we will be the people of God and God will be our people and he would bless us. But we have to make sure that we turn from our sinful ways. In the world in which we live, we find out there are so many ways that we live in a very sinful state. We sin in more ways than we could ever imagine. We sin by not saying how much we love God because we have put other things before him. We sin and don't give God the honor that he's due, but we give sports all so much of our time. Too oftentimes we give sports more than what they should deem necessary. Do we give God the same amount of time? Well, the text begins to remind us in this covenantal relationship with God, as we have sought him and as he has forgiven us of our sins, we should give him the time that is so required for us to be in relationship with him. You know, the only way to go in a, to grow in a friendship and a relationship is that you have to share time together. You have to get to know each other. You have to know each other's voice. You have to know those particularities about ourselves. Well, it's important for us to share time in the word of God. And when we do that, we'll find out that God has a message for us all. The message is that he loves us and he has so much in store for us if we only put ourselves in position to be ready. Today, I hope you're ready to receive the blessings that God has in store for you. Today, I need to remind you, you are exceedingly and abundantly blessed and I look forward to sharing with you tomorrow. Take the Lord with you everywhere you go. To sow a seed to the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship, visit our newly redesigned website, thefountainofraleigh.org, and select Sow a Seed from the homepage. Also, giving has been made easier with the new Fountain of Raleigh app, available now in the Apple App Store and Google Play Store. Download today, select Giving from the main menu, and then follow the directions to complete your giving through Subsplash. Thank you so very much for all of your gifts and donations that you've given to the Fountain of Raleigh Fellowship. We thank you for what you've done in the past, what you're currently doing, and what you will do in the future. Your gifts and donations helps us to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ, not only locally, but throughout the world. Thank you again for your gifts, and may God continue to richly bless you. It is here at the Fountain that we believe that we are exceedingly and abundantly blessed, and may you receive those blessings that God has in store for you. Okay.